J Philly Retro was filmed in front of a live studio audience. What's up guys? Starting the day off today with the uh, Liberty Thrift in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. You know, it's always hit or miss, but as I like to say, you don't know if you don't go. So let's go into the Liberty, 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 Liberty. See what they got. Well, right off the bat, it's not looking good. Right here is where the two book bins usually are. And they are, uh, they're not here, so. I don't know. Let's go inside. Ooh, look at this. Right inside the front door. Got some guitars. That's cool. I always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. But uh, my fingers are just too stubby. <laughs> They're not long enough. That one's cool. What does it say? Comes with case. No additional discounts allowed. 175 bucks. That's cool. All right, guys, so we're inside here. I'm looking in the glass case right now, and you guys got to see this. For all the crap that I give this place about not having anything, I take it all back. Check this out. Guys, they have a whole case full of Masters of the Universe, vintage Masters of the Universe. First of all, look at these two cases. They got the Motu collector's case, and they have a, a fantasy figure collector's case. How awesome is that? They got a Prince Adam and a Skeletor up there. The prices aren't too terrible either. They got some of them marked at $9.99. They've got a couple marked at $2.99. Looks like he's missing an arm, neck and neck. Uh, there's a Beast Man back there. That right there is a Black Star villain, if I'm not mistaken, for 10 bucks. There's a Jitsu, looks like he's missing an arm. There's Evil Lynn, she's complete. That's cool. Uh, $9.99, it's not bad. $2.99 for this guy, I'm not sure who that is. But they got a Rotan. They got a Man at Arms for five bucks. There's some, there's a Triclops back there, Whiplash. There's a Battle Cat even. Wow, that's cool. I'm going to have to take a look at some of these, I think. Maybe, at least those two cases. Guys, and then they also, inside the case here, they have all the DS games. This is cool. Somebody unloaded their DS collection, it looks like. Steven has a DS, but he doesn't play it, so I don't think he would be interested in any of these. I'm not sure what these games right here go to. Uh, then they got some cars, some race cars. Some older books and stuff back there. They got another violin down here. Actually, two violins. Um, and then some other stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. Some records. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, definitely going to take a look at this stuff. They got some Pokemon DVDs. A couple weird looking dolls. But yeah, very cool. Uh, these glass cases up here are looking kind of the same as usual. Although it looks like they do have some Sega Genesis games. Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. Heavy Nova. Hmm. Got some PS3, some Wii, some Xbox. Some controllers. Oh, there's a couple consoles, a couple Wii consoles. 60 bucks each. All right, guys, back here in the toys. Uh, looks like they got uh, just a lot of the same stuff they usually have, like blocks and stuff like that. I'm not really seeing too much with this. Uh, it's really cheap plastic. It's not really anything I would want. Um, let's look over here. I got a big old sidewalk chalk thing that's behind there some blocks and a black panther <laughs> uh, let's see uh, look at this a whole box of 
connects. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Sorry about that, guys. Why these people come right up behind me, I'll never know when there's many aisles you could go down, but uh, whatever. This is a 200X or 2000X, whatever you call it, Masters of the Universe sword. How freaking awesome is that? I'm definitely gonna grab that. Eight nine, oh, eight ninety nine. Dang. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. Right, let's take a look and see what else is down here. Got some uh, empty bags. Uh, we got Snoopy on a motorcycle. Big ol' Imagine X Dino. Anything else in here that I would be interested in? Um, let's move that over here. Look at this. This is an interesting Hulk. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen one like that before. Uh, let's see. A couple Sonic McDonald's toys. 49 cents. You know what? For 49 cents, I might grab those. That's a good price. Big bag of MLP. Uh, I got some dinos. All kinds of dinos. And more dinos. These are kind of cool. There's a wolf. Batman. What's this down here? Uh, more dinos. <laughs> kind of cool. All right, well, let's take a look around this side. Got a that's called Minecraft. It's a Harley. Big old Nerf gun, brand new. Uh, got some Eternals. Doll house stuff. Oh, look at this. There's a bin full of uh, figures down here. Kind of like a Power Rangers, maybe knockoff or something. I huh. uh, got some more dinos. There's a pterodactyl. Not sure who that guy is. Uh, got a bag full of McDonald's. There's something Transformers, something. Not sure what that is. Little people. Uh, it's Toy Story figures. Oh, look, Sesame Street figures. Those are cool. What's this? Uh, just a wooden game. Who's this guy? Um, I don't know. Not sure who that is. It looks kind of menacing. Yeah, over here on the end, they have a looks like maybe a Monsters Inc. Imagine X playset. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Big old thing of Lincoln Logs. Uh, let's see. What's this? Oh, some Batman. Look at that. Hmm. Some Batman figures. How many are in there? One, two, like three or four Batman figures. 
for $2.99. That's not bad. That looks like a 95. It looks like a like a mid 90s. Hmm, that's a possibility. Oh, look at this. There's a transformer. Huh. That's cool. I wonder if Steven needs that. It's a cool transformer. Uh, anything else in here? No idea what that is. Some kind of Maleficent thing. And not a whole lot back here in the uh, games and puzzles. Um, see a few cool things, but I think the coolest thing back here is this Walking Dead Risk game for five bucks. I'm gonna check on that, see if that goes for anything on eBay. But uh, otherwise, I'm not really seeing too much in the games and puzzles. And guys, over here in the DVD section, uh, they got lots of cool Wii games and stuff up there. Not really seeing anything up there. Uh, I did find a couple of cool National Geographic documentaries. The World's Last Great Places, Deserts, and The World's Last Great Places, Coastal Africa. Those are interesting. Um, I'll think about those, maybe. Uh, I also found, here's one about just regular Africa. <laughs> Coastal Africa and regular Africa. Those would be cool to have. But I also saw this. National Geographic's Great Migrations. Move as millions, survive as one. This is cool. I've seen this on Disney+. Plus. This is like a box set of three discs. I might pick that up. Um, and then I also saw this PS2 game, Fire Fireblade, for $2.99. It is complete with the manual and everything. Um, I don't have a PS2. <laughs> I wish I did. I would probably pick that up. I saw it only sells for about, you know, five to ten bucks on eBay, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Look at that. Like, that looks pretty sweet. Oh, look at this. We also got some Atari games back here Cosmic Arc. There's football. Dodge them. Uh, I got Demons to Diamonds. Human Cannonball, Street Racer, Star Master, and then Canyon, Bomber, and Warlords. Uh, I don't have an Atari either, <laughs> or I would pick, I would definitely pick some of these up. Uh, I'm going to have to up my game console collection, I think. Alright guys, well, I would say we got a pretty epic Motu haul today from Liberty Thrift. I'll show you what we got when we get to the car. Woo, man, I'll tell you what, guys. We just scored some Mo2. Uh, didn't go hog wild, all right, first of all. Didn't go hog wild, although I wanted to definitely go hog wild in there. Uh, but I did pick up a few Masters of the Universe things from that collection of stuff they had in there in the bin, in the uh, the case. Um, you know, it, it always amazes me. I was driving past here. I almost, almost did not stop at this Liberty Thrift today. Um, because I, you know, I told myself, eh, I don't know, they probably don't have anything good. It's probably all the same overpriced stuff. You never know if you don't go, guys. I cannot stress that enough. If you're ever like on the fence, just stop, just stop and look. They may have something that will blow your mind like that Masters of the Universe stuff in there. Um, now, I mean, it wasn't all like mint condition, top of the line stuff. A lot of it was broken, uh, missing accessories, things like that. But uh, they did have several um, decent pieces in there that I picked up, uh, and I'm happy with them, man. I can't, I can't be happier right now. Uh, let me show you guys what I got. All right, so first of all, guys, I did pick up these like miscellaneous toys. Um, I mean, they were a buck. Uh, like I paid a dollar for all four of these. Uh, the two Snoopy pieces um, were in a bag for 50 cents. The two Sonic figures were in a bag for 50 cents. These are from like Sonic Restaurant, I think from 2021. 
and these are from McDonald's from 2018 or 19, I think. So, I mean, nothing amazing, nothing crazy. Uh, Avian, if you need these, let me know, buddy. Um, I know you like Sonic and stuff, so I'll send those out to you if you need those. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to put these on a shelf, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, they're for a buck, for all four of them, I figured why not. And then, guys, for $8.99, I found this He-Man Masters of the Universe 200X, whatever it's called. I just call it He-Man 2000. Uh, I hate... I hate how it's so confusing. Some people call it 200X. Some people call it 2000X. I call it He-Man 2000. <laughs> the, uh, the 2002 Power Sword. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. And it does have, it did have a sticker on there that said tested and works. Uh, it makes noise. It lights up. You know, I have the power. I have the power. You know, that, <laughs> that type of thing. Um, anyway, I, I couldn't believe I found this in there. $8.99. This thing is uh, mint condition, too. It's, like, minty. I don't think there are any scuffs or scrapes on it. Maybe, I guess. Uh, maybe I missed a scuff or a scrape, possibly. But super freaking clean. I couldn't believe that I found that for $8.99. That's awesome. That'll go definitely on a shelf in my collection. Guys, and then we get into the figures that I purchased from the case... Uh, picked up this Manny Faces. I do not have this Manny Faces in my collection yet. Uh, he was only $3.99. He doesn't have any accessories, doesn't have any weapons, but his legs are pretty, pretty stiff. Um, doesn't have very loose legs. He does have one little scuff right there, uh, but his mask turns very well. He's got all the, uh, you know, all the right dudes in there. <laughs> Um, but I mean, for $3.99, I, you know, I decided to grab him. Now, again, there were so many pieces in there that I would love to have had. They had Black Star figures. They had, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures, uh, like buried underneath the Masters of the Universe ones. Uh, I may come back later on in the week to see what they have left. Um, and if they have anything good, I might grab another couple figures if they have anything decent. Um, he's in pretty good shape. He doesn't. He has like one or two little scuffs right there on his arm, a little paint wear. Um, his waist is not too bad. It's a little little loose, but not too bad. Uh, but overall, I'm really happy with this pickup for $3.99. Guys, and then I grabbed this 1981 Evelyn Mint. Look, I mean, super mint condition. Her legs are not wobbly. Her legs are super stiff. She is complete with her staff. Her paint is just perfect. Like, I do have evil this Evil Inn in my collection already, but it's nowhere near as nice as this one. Uh, this one was $9.99, so I paid $10 for her, but well worth $10, in my opinion, for a vintage 1981 Evil Inn in mint condition with her accessory. Um, I don't know what to, what else to say other than... You know, it doesn't get more mint than that. Uh, just super, super clean figure. I'm uh, really happy with this one. And then, guys, the last thing I picked up was this 1984 Masters of the Universe collector's case. Uh, ten bucks, guys. I paid ten bucks for this. It's in really good condition. Not perfect by any means. Um, but it is in really good condition. It has the handle on the top intact. Uh, the clasp is still intact and works. Uh, as you can see there, you just buckle it like that. Uh, it does not have the, the trays inside, which is the only thing that kind of bummed me out a little bit. But the plastic is not ripped at all. It's not torn up. It's got an extra handle in there. Uh, oh, that's broken. Uh, well, I guess that's trash then. Uh, but thankfully it has its handle on top here, like I said. Um, doesn't have the trays, which kind of bummed me out a little bit. But for $10, I couldn't pass this up. Um, it actually uh, is not ripped in any way. It's not torn up. It's not damaged. Uh, it's just missing the tray. So for $10, bucks, i could not leave that behind. I almost grabbed the other one as well. 
um, the the fantasy figure case or whatever it was. Uh, it was ten dollars also. I probably should have grabbed it. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna come back later on in the week and see what's left. If it's still here, I will probably pick it up when I come back. But uh, super excited to have this Masters of the Universe collector's case. I do not have one of these in my collection already, so super happy to grab this. So guys, like I said, man, that was an epic score today at the Liberty Thrift here in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. I was totally not expecting to find vintage Masters of the Universe multiple vintage masters of the universe figures collectors cases power swords all that stuff when i came in here today uh super super happy to have this stuff super happy to have found it i'm so glad guys like i said always 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 stop in if you're passing by you might as well if you're passing by already because you don't know if you don't go remember that uh guys i gotta go pick up some groceries so i think we're gonna be done this is gonna be a short video maybe uh, I don't know. I've been in Liberty Thrift for a while. <laughs> it might not be that short. Uh, but this is going to be the only stop for the video, uh, which is going to be different than what I usually do, two or three stores. Uh, but today, i got to go pick up groceries. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed this today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you think of my haul. Uh, what would you have picked up if you were in there and you saw that massive amount of, of vintage Motu figures um, if you, did you see anything else in the toy section or the DVDs or the video games that you would have grabbed? Let me know. Put a comment down below. Uh, thank you guys for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your week. Later.